Hello, and welcome to this video which will cover the steps in performing large sphere calibrations for flux measurements. This is becoming increasingly important with the surge of LED-based replacement lamps for fluorescent lighting as well as downlights. Accurate optical testing of these devices is imperative to ensure consistency in brightness and color. To test these sources for total luminous flux and color, an integrating sphere is generally used. In this tutorial, we will discuss the requirements for a properly designed integrating sphere, as well as take you through the process of calibration. The equipment we will be using today consists of a large sphere with a highly reflective coating. In this case, a 1 meter IS3900 sphere with internal baffling and an auxiliary lamp as standard features. We'll also be using a NIST traceable OL245 TSF total spectral flux standard. The current source we will be using is an OL410150 150 watt current supply and the measuring device will be an OL770 spectroradiometer. To obtain an accurate total spectral flux measurement, a four-step calibration and measurement process is used. The four steps include measuring a spectral flux standard, measuring the internal auxiliary lamp, placing the standard with the device to test and re-measuring the auxiliary lamp, and finally creating a calibration and using this to accurately measure the device. The integrating sphere should have a high reflectivity coating preferably greater than 98% to ensure good response. Also, the sphere should be fitted with baffles to prevent direct rays from impinging on the detector board. And this traceable total spectral flux standard should be used in conjunction with an auxiliary lamp to correct for any self-absorption of the test sample. The exit port of the sphere should include a diffuser to guarantee the detector sees the entire sphere and not just the backside of the baffle. The first step is to install the NIST traceable standard of total flux at the center of the sphere and power the lamp to the specified current setting. Using the OL770 software, take a reading of the lamp output. Next, shut down the standard lamp, but do not remove it from the sphere, and apply power to the auxiliary lamp and allow it to stabilize. Measure the auxiliary lamp and save the file. This is essentially a transfer calibration, making the auxiliary lamp a temporary calibration lamp. Keeping the auxiliary lamp powered, remove the NIST traceable standard lamp and install your test fixture into the sphere. Here we are testing an FEL type lamp. Open the calibration software and measure the auxiliary lamp again. This time with your test sample installed, but not powered. You have now created a total spectral flux system response calibration. With this new calibration loaded into the software, power your test lamp and allow it to stabilize before measuring. Now the test lamp can be accurately measured. All of the equipment used today is available from Gooch and Housco. We offer integrating spheres ranging from 1 inch up to 2 meters, including motorized spheres. Our spectral flux standards are available in various wattages and for many wavelength ranges. And we also offer highly stable current supplies to accompany those standards. We offer a wide variety of detectors and spectroradiometers. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or would like more information about our products, please contact us at orlandosales at and visit us at our website at ghinstruments.com.